Mac and Cheese here, and we're going to be learning about wedges. A wedge has one or two sloping sides ending in a serpent. It is used to lift or split an object. A wedge either moves an object or stops an object from moving. A wedge is like a triangle, but a cube, and it can split or cut things. I have more information because I am not. <laughs> you don't slice apples with a spoon, do you? You use a knife, which is a simple machine called a wedge. The tiny little part from here is slanted and it cuts you. Don't look back. Don't touch the knife on the surface. You may, cut, you may cut your finger off. And wedges don't just cut, they also push apart. Divide or split objects. Wedges work when you put a narrow end into something you want to come apart and apply force to a wider end. For example, you slice an apple by pushing downward on a knife. Mac, can, can they even see the apple? Wait, can <laughs> you? Oh no. Hey, baby, let me help. Maggie! Mac, you dropped the apple. You dropped the knife on the table. You dropped the knife. Maggie, you're gonna cut your sweater. Don't cut your hand off, please. Oh. Can I eat that? No. Please. After the video. Look. See? Can I this is it? all because of a wedge on a knife. Look at the apple. Geez, do you have any more information or examples? Yes, I have some more to say. A door stopped in an example of a sun. What does it has a sloping side? Single wedges are placed flat on the ground, mostly used for stopping things. Now this looks like a door stop, but just flat. It is. Well, it's not a door stop. What would a doorstop be called as a wedge? Aren't there two types? Um, a single wedge. A single one. Yep. Oh, so like you put it down and then it's like stops the door. Yeah, that's cool. And a double wedge. Double wedge? Yep. Hmm, cool. This is more for cutting things, like an axe or something. Yeah, like a knife. Like a knife. Oh, well, I know something about wedges. Sculptures use chisels, and the chisels have small ends that kind of look like this, but just thicker. And they put it into the part that they want to sculpt, and therefore that's how they get sculpt beautiful sculptures. So they use their chisel with a wedge at the end, and that's how wedges work. Right, Chase? Yeah. Well, that's all I think you need to know. So, like, mac and cheese, sign out. <laughs>